We'll use equilibrium concepts to explain how a buffer solution minimizes change in pH when a small amount of base is added. We'll start off by considering a buffer solution in which the concentration of acetic acid and the concentration of the acetate ion are both one molar. Here is the equilibrium equation describing this buffer. Because this is an aqueous solution, any changes in the amount of water in this equilibrium are insignificant. We'll just color the water blue and we won't be concerned with it. The concentration of hydronium in this equilibrium is much lower than the one molar concentrations of acetic acid and acetate. Now we'll construct graphs showing how the concentrations of the three species in the equilibrium will vary when we add a base to this buffer and it readjusts. This symbol shows that the y-axis on these graphs is actually much longer than portrayed in the diagram. The one molar concentrations of acetic acid and acetate ion are considerably higher than that of the hydronium ion. First, we'll consider the concentrations of the three species before we add the base. The concentrations of all three species remain constant. At this point, we add a base like any OH to this buffer. A base will react with H3O plus and neutralize it, as shown in this nationic equation. In this neutralization reaction, hydronium is consumed, so this will decrease the concentration of H3O plus. So we add the base and the concentration of H3O plus quickly decreases. Adding a base had no immediate effect on the concentration of acetic acid or on the concentration of the acetate ion. But the sudden decrease in the hydronium ion concentration that took place when the base was added causes a stress on the equilibrium system. Because hydronium is a product whose concentration has been decreased, the equilibrium will shift to the right in order to compensate. As the shift to the right occurs, the concentration of hydronium gradually increases as it partially compensates for the sudden drop. The acetate ion is also a product, so as the shift to the right occurs, its concentration will gradually increase like the hydronium ion's concentration did. Acetic acid is a reactant, so as the shift to the right occurs, its concentration will gradually decrease. When the shift to the right is complete, a new equilibrium is established, so as time continues, the concentrations of all three species remain constant and the lines in the graph are horizontal. In the overall process, the concentration of acetic acid showed a net decrease, and the concentration of the acetate ion showed a net increase. The concentration of hydronium dropped rapidly when the base was added. As the equilibrium shifted to the right and buffering took place, the hydronium ion concentration gradually increased in order to partially compensate for the drop. So in the overall process, the hydronium ion concentration showed a very small net decrease. Now we'll consider the changes in pH as the base is added and the system adjusts. Remember pH is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. The negative sign means, as the concentration of H3O plus goes down, the pH goes up. So when the base was first added, as the hydronium ion concentration goes down, the pH goes up. As the shift to the right occurs and the concentration of hydronium gradually increases, the pH gradually decreases. So in the overall process, as the hydronium ion concentration shows a very small net decrease, the pH shows a very small net increase. If there were no buffer solution present and we added a base to water, the pH would quickly rise. But there's nothing to buffer this rise, so the pH will remain at this level and show a large net increase in the overall process instead of the small net increase experienced by the buffer solution. The buffer has accomplished its purpose. 
It has minimized the change in pH resulting from the addition of a base. Thank you.